A new report out today from the Canadian Pediatric Society says unstructured outdoor play, even risky play, is essential for physical, mental and social development in kids. A pediatric doctor at SickKids Hospital says there is a positive benefit to allowing children to recognize risk, experience it and then learn how to manage it. The Pediatric Society says risk and risky play help build resilience among kids and can help prevent or even manage conditions like obesity and anxiety. The report comes on the heels of Toronto closing dozens of tobogganing hills over safety concerns. And joining us now to expand on the report is CTV's Camel Karamali. Camel, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, let's let's talk a little bit more about this. I think you and I are probably big fans of a little risky play. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you say that, Roger? I used to love climbing trees as <laughs> yeah. a kid. That's well, I was my going to ask you, what sort of uh, risky play did you take part in as a kid? Tobogganing. We used to toboggan into a ravine, and if you didn't negotiate the little trail that we went down, it was into the bushes wow. and the trees. Okay, that's a little bit riskier than what I did. I used to climb trees, and, and you know one of my favorite games was swinging and then jumping off of the swing when it reaches its nice. height. But yeah, that, and you know what the Pediatric Society is saying, kids aren't taking part in those sort of activities as much where, you know, the outcome, you're unsure of the outcome and there's a lack of exciting free play. They're saying kids are, you know, spending more time indoors and on screens. And I know I sound like an old man <laughs> saying that, talking about kids these days, but they're really saying that, you know, uh, there needs to be uh, an uncertainty of outcome and even the possibility of physical injury and all of those have major benefits. So examples include playing at height and speed, uh, playing with tools, including hammers and ropes, supervised, obviously, very, very key caveat there, working with natural elements like earth, water, and fire, and even the risk of getting lost. You know, uh, saying exploration is an essential part of growth. You touched on some of the benefits of it there, Roger, but it really allows children to recognize risk and then learn how to manage risk. It's, it's, it's essential for physical, mental, and social development, and it really challenges children to test their limits, preventing obesity and, and preventing mental health issues later in life. And perhaps most importantly, Roger, it helps them develop confidence moving forward and, and even uh, helping them develop their decision-making abilities, learning what's right and what's wrong. And so very true, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, there also is the caveats that come with this. You don't drop your kid off in the middle of the bush if they're four years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, unless it's a form of punishment, you know, but I, <laughs> I would not recommend that. No, you know what? The, the Canadian Pediatric Society says, look, there is a uh, very, very clear uh, discrepancy between uh, risky play and being hazardous. Have a listen to uh, what one pediatric expert had to say. There's a difference between risk and hazard. Um, a risk is, you know, arises in situations where children can recognize and evaluate um, the challenge and decide what they're going to do based on what they want to do and how they think they can do it. So their self-perceived skill. So for an example, you know, um, is uh, tobogganing down a hill uh, where it's, you know, free and clear, um, you know, or how high they're going to climb a tree. That's, that's fine. The world is full of risk and, and kids need to learn how to, how to mitigate it. And so uh, communication and language is also key, according to the Canadian Pediatric Society, saying, you know, as parents, uh, we have the tendency to say, stop, don't do that, be careful. What kids really hear is, you know, you don't trust me, I can't do this. So they're also trying to help parents change the language, uh, encourage them more. And if you do see your kid doing something uh, that is considered risky play, don't jump in right away, maybe pause take a beat, see how their decision-making skills develop, and if it does tend to go more towards the hazardous size, then, then intervene. Sounds like you gotta be a parent. Yeah, not quite there yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm well prepared now. All right, Kamal, thank you very <laughs> much welcome. for that. CTV's Kamal Karamali.